Hey everybody, I thought I could do a review of ergonomic and anatomic bridles. There's a lot out there to choose from and they all have pros and cons and I have a bunch of them. So I thought I could do a review for you. Okay. Okay, so for bridle number one, this is a Micklem bridle and probably everybody's familiar with it by now. Um, it's sort of a combination of a drop nose band and a flash nose band, and it was designed to take the cheek piece off a nerve in the horse's face. So this is a great bridle. It's not that expensive. It's um, Some horses love it, some horses hate it, some horses don't care, but it's always worth a try. Um, downsides of this bridle are the leather quality. It's not the nicest. Um, the stitching and stuff like that. It's just not a fancy show bridle, but they are great bridles and I recommend giving them a try if you never have. Okay, collegiate comfy tech bridles are uh, sort of a PS of Sweden ripoff. You can adjust the height of this nose band, you know, make sure it's not too low on your horse's nose. Uh, one drawback because this height is adjustable is your nose band does have to be pretty tight um, for this part to stay up, this cavasson part. Uh, this bridle is really affordable and the leather quality is better than a Miklum, in my opinion. So I also like these bridles. This one obviously is set up with a gag bit on it and it's dirty, I apologize. Um, they also have this thick headpiece and this is my least favorite part of all ergonomic bridles because I don't think the horses really like it. It's supposed to be more comfortable obviously, but I could do without it personally. Um, here's another comfy tech. You can get uh, black or brown and sort of dressage or jumpery. Um, but yeah, I think the stitching in the leather is definitely nicer right out of the box on these. And they retail for, you know, if you're getting a deal, you can get one for about a hundred bucks, which is very cost effective. <laughs> Okay, this is a Red Barn ergonomic bridle. I believe the model is called Arena. Um, I just got it. I've used it a couple times and I'm liking it. Again, it's sort of a modified flash um, where you can put your regular Cavison noseband up a little higher than a regular flash. And like the Miklum, this is sort of shaped away from your horse's nerves in its face. It comes with this fancy wave brow band. Again, it has a big fat crown piece, which like I mentioned before, I could do without. Um, I got this bridle for 75 bucks on eBay and because it's red barn, the leather is super nice. So um, I'm looking forward to using this bridle if we ever get to show again. Okay, last bridle I have to share is very similar to the one I just showed you. I believe it is Waldhausen brand, so a German brand, and the leather is not as nice as the Red Barn, but um, for a much lower price point, it is still really nice leather, and again, it's a modified flash, really similar. Um, this might give out sooner than the one I just showed you, um, but I also like that this is more shaped and a little less bulky than the bridle I just showed you and the Comfy Tech bridles. Um, so I did show in this bridle last year and I do uh, really like it. And again, not very expensive. I hope you guys found that helpful. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'm happy to talk about tech anytime and happy riding.